There's nothing better than waking up to a brand new truck. I was signing papers all day yesterday for the brand new 2022 GMC 84 with a nice Duramax engine in it. And today we're going on a snowmobiling trip. It's going to be a ton of fun. And we're meeting up with our buddy Mako. He's going to be at the shop. You may know it as Casey's Gas Station. So that's where we're going to meet up before we head out to our Airbnb, which we rented for the weekend as we do a snowmobiling trip. I got two Skeeters in the back here. Let me pop the gate open. I also got these last year, so they're in great condition. This one's an 800R. It's got brand new skis on it. I put those on about a month ago. Uh, it's a fast one. I'll say that. And then up here we have another 800R, but this one's got a sweet color package on it. It's got the red with the gold accents. Check that out. So we are set up. I got the nice big trailer with the toolboxes up front in case we have any problems. We should be good for the weekend. I'll say that. There we go. Let it idle up a little bit. Listen to this thing. It sounds amazing. Well, let's head it over to Casey's, meet up with Mako, and then we're going to head to our Airbnb. I rented it out at a rate of about $1,200 a night, so it's, it's a little expensive. Here we are pulling in. I already topped off with diesel for the truck, and the sleds are full, so I think Mako's getting some stuff in his brand new Bronco. Look at that thing. Yo, Mako, where you at? I'm over here. Where'd you pick this thing up at? Yeah, I bought it from uh, Gavin's Automotive. Oh, yeah, that place is awesome. I got some Ford F-350s there a while back. They have some pretty sweet vehicles. Thank you, Gavin, for letting us use this in today's video. It's going to be some fun. We're going to do snowmobiling. And also, thank you, Mark, for making the GMC AT4. New favorite truck right here. I'll say that. Gavin, you're a certified good American today. Ford Bronco built tough. We got the blue on there. And, Mako, you ready to go? Yes, sir. All right, sounds good. Let's just see what this thing could do. You got it in four high. Uh, I'm gonna guess it's gonna do completely fine. You got your sled on the back. Oh, this is sweet. Here, come explain the color combos on this. So we got a, uh, kind of baby blue up here. Yeah, yeah, it looks really nice. And then orange tune. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. Did you upgrade the tracks on this one? Yeah. Yeah, that looks really good. Uh, I think there's some carbon fiber parts in there, too. And you got the new skis? Perfect. I got two pairs of new skis on mine. That way we can turn them pretty sharp. You know, we're doing 85 miles an hour in these bad boys. Yeah. Fire it up. I want to see what your sounds like. It looks like we got an aftermarket exhaust. Oh, yeah. That sounds pretty good. It idles a very high idling. I mean, it's probably 3,000 RPMs. Yeah, I think it's something like that. Oh, check that out. Nice hitch extension for the wheel. Perfect. Yeah. All right, get on fuel. Yeah, yeah. I just finished fueling up. So, the Airbnb I rented is... 14 miles from here so you, we got a little bit of a haul but it's gonna be fun and once we get there there's trails everywhere to go around there and all the farmers don't really care if you drive through their fields they're all cultivated or they did some plow work to them something is just so we can just drive right over it's really smooth so we can basically go everywhere it's free for all out there we're just gonna drive around i got my two sleds in the back so we're ready to go i'm gonna take my gmc just follow behind yeah. me and i'll have you on uh, my iphone through the speakers okay yeah Oh yeah, boys, getting the turbo spinned up. Okay, I think we are good. I got the very nice package in this. The brown leather seating, y'all. That's the, that's the premium. 35 foot enclosed trailer too. I picked that one up. So we did buy some new vehicles for today's trip. And if you guys end up enjoying this one, drop a thumbs up and subscribe. Maybe we'll do a part two of some snowmobiling fun. We haven't even got started yet, so make sure you do stick around. The snowmobiles are very fast and they're fun. The first snowmobiles we've got in the game so far. I got a tuner on this one too. The Duramax, you know, we had to add something to it. So I had the dealership add that and the lift to that. That's on stock. The neighborhood we're heading to is a bunch of billionaire cabins. All right, Michael, I got you connected here. What's going on? Uh, nothing much. I think you're a little bit better on power than me, but... Yeah, how's the Bronco doing? Is it is it pulling fine? Uh, yeah, it's a little bit heavy, but it's working. Yeah, I mean, that thing's a beast. It's got to pull anything, basically. I'll guesstimate 4,000 pounds is probably the max capacity on that. This thing, yeah. you know, 25,000 pounds easy. But that's pushing it, you know, of course. But here we are. I think this is the place. It's way in the back. The guy said windmill, so I think the entrance is right past that. Be careful of the ditch. You got to kind of go in it. Oh, oh, slow down. Here goes the GMC. Can it do it? Oh, yeah. Crashed your trailer a bit. 
Yep, no, I, I kind of touched the trailer. It worked fine, though. We got through it. But here we are, the Airbnb for the weekend. All right, Mako, if you want, we can back up the trucks to the sheds and we can unload them in there for the night. That way they're heated. Yeah, I'm going to take the uh, left port. You take the right one. All right, boys. Looks good. The GMC did well. Let's go check out the Bronco in action. Oh, yeah, boys. Look at that. That looks sweet. Okay, well, we got our sleds in here. Let's hop on. Fire it up. We're going to have to let them warm up a little bit so you can leave them running in the shop, okay? Yeah. Got two LED bright headlights. You can see the entire trail when you're going down. That's for sure. And then the trees, you know, you can see everything. And then this is my snowmobiling outfit. I got a nice winter coat on. Cowboy hat. America. So that was my all blacked out ski 800 r And, uh, you know, it's got the entire package to it. It's got red tracked right there the accents and then the shocks are red too so you know it's got some nice accents to go along with it and then here's probably my favorite one this is the red with the gold this is special edition they made this one in 2021 so it was an exclusive color from bombardier that makes ski do the manufacturer if you've ever seen a sea do they have the same color packaging like this but you know they're looking good yep shut the doors up here keep the heat in all right, let's see. There's got to be lights in here somewhere. Yep, there we go. Perfect. So we got three sleds in total today, and I'm going to swap them out. This one has more horsepower, and it's got a tune on it. And then Mako's got a fast one, too. That probably does 95 miles per hour, 100, probably pushing it. But that's our setups for today. Let's check out the house. This is insane. I mean, it's worth the 1200 bucks a night. Let's go ahead and walk through the front door. This is someone's cabin. And they rent it out for the weekends. Here we go. Turn on the lights. Oh my gosh. This is nice. I'll say that. Nice little getaway. Got the fireplace going. Oh, Mako, they got a hot pizza for us. They do? Yeah, they, they already had it ready. It's still warm. Here, take a slice. Oh, hey, you like the pizza? Yes. Yeah, it's good go. pizza. You have another slice there. <laughs> eat up, eat up. All right. Uh, We got six stove tops, coffee. A yeah, nice big kitchen with an island. Let's check upstairs. The guy said one bedroom, so Mako, you're sleeping on the couch. Oh, okay. Here's the bathroom. Pretty nice size. Got a nice view. You can watch people snowmobiling out there. Sink. Perfect. You know, this is this is a perfect place. And it's got a computer. Looking awesome. Well, there it is. California king size bed, too. Well, that's a tour. We got snow on top of snow, so let's get going out there. I'm going to take my red and gold one first. That way, we can get good use out of that. It does 85 miles per hour, so we're going to take that one first. They should be good. I got the truck detached, too, from the trailer. That's all good, and then we can just pull right out. We're going to take that Bronco in the snow, man. I want to put that to the test. There we go. Fire it up. Oh, yeah, baby. This has uh, got 255 horsepower in it. That's a lot for a snowmobile. I've seen jet skis with 300, so... You no, know, it's it's up there. It does 100 plus, so this is a fast one. There we go. We're going to send it down the driveway. And then the trails aren't far from here. We just got to find a good spot. With some fluffy snow. You know, that place is good. And then some solid snow, too. I don't remember. There was a little bit of a path on the left side here. That we can take down and we can go through. Oh, yeah, here it is. Oh, yeah, here's the path, guys, for the snowmobiling right by the house. Oh, yeah, look at this thing, man. We're shredding. There we go. I'm pretty sure this goes on for about five miles, too. It doesn't end. Hey, Mako, catch up, man. I'm up here. Yeah, working on it. Yeah, these trails have plenty of snow. I'll say that. Snowmobiles are working good, too. Then this is going to cut off, but we're going to go to the right down the road a little bit. Oh, there's Mako. He's coming. Oh, yeah. He's flying in that thing. All right. Take a right on this road. We can go through it a little bit. Yeah, all right. Yeah, let's go in the farmer's field right here. I don't really care. Oh, but she's spinning out here. Oh, we just, whoa, we're drifting. Hey, did you just drift that snowmobile? Do it again. Yeah. Hold on. Oh, there he goes. There you go. Oof. All right, Mako, continue heading through here, and then the uh, next trail is coming up. And I think we're going to be able to go back to another small town just past this plant here. Cut behind the trees. I'll show you. Shortcut. 
Ski dudes are doing great though. Oh yeah. All right, hang it. Here's a road. Hit the jump. Oh yeah, boy. All right, should be right on here. We're on some farmer's old crops, so we gotta get out of this. Oh, there's birds flying out. Oh jeez, watch out. Okay, here we are. We found the next trail. Hey, go this way over here. I'm right on the uh, south side. Yeah, kind of hard getting some traction on this snow. Yeah, it's actually pretty good though. It's a little fluffy. Yeah. Here we are. Oh yeah, now we're flying. All right, take it a little slow by this guy's house. You don't want to wake him up with our exhaust. There he goes. Come fly by me. We got to get it for the vlog. Come here, back again. Yeah, Max out the speed on that bad boy. All right, there you go. Get her into gear real quick. There we go. Got some good video. You're good. All right, whose is louder? I think yours is louder. Where'd you get the uh, tune on that, the exhaust? I got it. Yeah, I got it from Lambo Modifications. Oh, yeah, that yeah that shop's on the south side of town. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been there before. It's great. They do a lot of tune-ups, too. You know, they put some gigantic tires on stuff. They look awesome. I might have to head yeah. back out there soon. we do some uh, more tunes on this one. Yeah. Maybe upgrade to 2023s. I think they come out uh, about mid-year, so... We got a couple more months, but when they do come out, man, they're going to be looking sweet. I can just, I can sense it. I feel like the gauges need a little bit of an update. Yeah, I know the sea dudes they put in brand new electronic LCD displays, which look great. You know, you can get the uh, whole electronic package on that one. Oh, there he goes. Hey, watch the guy's field. You never know. Could be an angry farmer. Could be, could be. Okay, I think what we should do is race back to the house. What do you say? Eat some more pizza. I think they got some more food in there, too. Yeah, let's go. Last one, there's a rotten egg. I think... Oh, uh, come on. Can I pass you? Oh, yeah. I think if we can oh, kind of scope there's the... Oh, there's a fence. There. All right, there's a fence there. So we're going to have to go to the roadside. But last one, there's a rotten egg. Oh, jeez. Come on. That thing's so fast, man. There's a jump up here. I'm going to hit it full speed. Send it. Oh, yeah. We got some air time on that one. A little bit ahead of ourselves. Oh, yeah. He won that one. He's way up there. I've been working out. There we go. Oh, send it. One more time. There we go. Throw it. Oh, he's over there. He's zooming. Oh, jeez. Okay. Come on. Get over. I think the whole place is fenced in. There might be a back cut, though. No, no, Michael. Oh, my gosh. Yes. He shut the door on my face. <laughs> oh, dude. Yeah, I got to go fix my sled. I uh, I didn't notice that the whole place was fenced in, so uh, my sled is on the other side of the fence. Okay, have fun with that. <laughs> yeah, have fun I with jumped, that one. Yeah, I jumped the fence, and then I just ran in here. All right, guys. Well, that's going to be it for today's episode of Snowmobiling. You know, we got some more ride to do. Maybe if you guys hit, like, our goal of 2,000 likes, we can do a part two. Maybe take the Bronco snow mudding or something like that. Go drift around, do some donuts. That'd be fun. We got to do some more work in the GMC. We got to get that thing out in the trails too. You know, it's got some nice BF good riches on it. So big thanks to Gavin for letting us use his Bronco. That thing was a beast today. Mako's looking good going down the highway. I'll say that. But right, guys, thank you for watching today's video. Drop a thumbs up and subscribe down below. And I'll see you guys in the next one.